In this video, we are going to list the properties of Fourier transform and we are going to discuss the first property of Fourier transform that is linearity property. So, here these are the list of very important properties in Fourier transform. So, here this is linearity property and time shifting property, frequency shifting property, time differentiation and integration property, time scaling property, multiplication and convolution properties. These are all six very important properties included in Fourier transform. So, in this video especially we are going to discuss the first property that is linearity property. We will consider linearity property in this video we will discuss. So, linearity property states that generally all these properties are similar to properties of Fourier series. So, there also we discuss linearity property similar to that if you are having any signal like x1 of t for that if you are having any Fourier transform that means so this property states that if x1 of t is a signal so for this signal the Fourier transform for this signal the Fourier transform is x of omega and if you are having another signal if you consider this x1 of t and this is x1 of omega if you are having any another signal x2 of t for this Fourier transform is x2 of omega then linearity property states that so a1 x1 of t and plus a2 x2 of t that means addition of these two signals you will get a resultant signal if you consider Fourier transform of that resultant signal that may be equal to so the Fourier transform of the resultant added signal is equal to summation of Fourier transform summation of signal Fourier transform is equal to summation of individual Fourier transforms that means so, individual transform summation is equivalent to total signal Fourier transform. If you added your signals in time domain and if you consider Fourier transform, you will get one value. That value is equivalent to individual transforms summation. That means A1 x1 of omega plus A2 x2 of omega. For this, for better understanding of this, I want to consider proof for this whenever you are writing your transforms please keep in mind you need to write in terms of capital letters when you are writing signals you need to indicate in small letters so here i want to consider proof for this before getting into the proof i want to take fourier transform equation of x of t fourier transform of x of t any signal x of t is equal to x of omega is equal to you know the equation integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t dt this is the Fourier transform equation. Now if you are considering Fourier transform of this you need to get this right. So now here Fourier transform of so a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t if you consider what you are going to get so Fourier transform of a1 x1 of t plus Fourier transform of a2 x2 of t I, I want to consider x of t like this so if you want Fourier transform of x of t you are having like this if you want Fourier transform of this one you need to substitute in place of x of t that's it so this is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t into e power minus j omega t dt. So like this you need to consider the Fourier transform. So if you consider like this, so I am just separating integration for both of these values. So here I am considering a1 x1 of t into e power minus j omega t dt plus another integration infinity to infinity a2 x2 of t into e power minus j omega t dt you know that these a1 and a2 are constants you can write aside that means you can write out of integral 
So if you write this a1 and a2 out of integral, so here I am writing this a1 and a2 out of integral, why because those are constants we can write outside. So if you see this um, equation, so this is similar to Fourier transform equation. That means in place of x of t you are having x1 of t. So this is Fourier transform of x1 of t. This is Fourier transform of x2 of t. So we can say that, so this is equivalent to a1 x1 of omega plus a2 into this one is Fourier transform of x2 of t we considered as x2 of omega. So like this we will get. So this is proved. So whenever you consider total signal transform, you are going to get sum of individual transforms. So this is the linearity property you are having. For example, I want to consider an example here. So consider or uh, take inverse Fourier transform or Fourier transform of here I want to consider a problem to explain this linearity property. Find Fourier transform of find Fourier transform of the signal find Fourier transform of the signal. So that, sig that signal is equivalent to so I want to consider e power or uh, I want to consider del of t plus so u of t del of t plus u of t I want to consider this function. So or I want to give you another one that is so I want to give you a waveform. So at 0 you are having 2 time period, at 1 you are having 1, at 2 you are having 1. So this 0, 1, 2 and uh, you are having 1 at 3 up to infinity you are having 1 except at 0 you are having 2. This I want to make it as del of t plus u of t, isn't it? Or del of n plus u of n like that also you can consider. So here if you consider this signal, if you consider this signal, I want to consider in continuous form. Why? Because as we are going to consider Fourier transform, so we need to consider continuous signal. So generally discrete signals can be dealt with Z transform. So here at 0 you are having 2 from remaining points onwards you are having 1. So that means a signal is defined at 0 that is equivalent to 2 from remaining points onwards that means 0 0.001 onwards also that is equivalent to 1 up to infinity. Then how we can define that signal? For example, if you are having same signal definition like this any signal x of t is equivalent to 2 at t equivalent to 0 when t greater than 0 this is equivalent to 1 if your signal definition is like that then what will happen how we can approximate that signal by using del function and unit step function if you consider this x of t as del of t plus u of t you will get the same right because del of t is having sample at t equal to 0 and u of t having samples one with amplitude 1 from 0 to infinity if you added that del of t with u of t you are going to get 2 amplitude 1 plus 1 at 0 remaining all cases only unit step function will be there. So definitely you can uh, take this x of t like del of t plus u of t if they are asking any Fourier transform for this then definitely you can write Fourier transform of del of t is equivalent to so 1 impulse function Fourier transform is always equivalent to 1 plus so here we already discussed about this one that is what uh, what is the Fourier transform of u of t. So that Fourier transform of u of t you can substitute here. So you will get Fourier transform of your signal. We are already we already derived Fourier transform of u of t. So that Fourier transform of u of t you need to substitute here. So now we are going to get total transform that means here we consider individual transforms by adding that individual transforms also you can get the 
total transform of your signal x of t. So, this is what we are getting the answer like this. That means, by using linear t property, we can get the answer for that type of questions also. No need of integration and everything. As standard equations, you know what is the transform of del of t and what is the transform of u of t. If you consider that Fourier transform of u of t there, then you are going to get 1 plus that transform. That means, uh, uh, pi omega plus 1 by j omega you are having pi del of t. So, you are having that Fourier transform of u of t like pi del of omega plus 1 by j omega. This is your uh, Fourier transform of unit step function. So, like this you are going to get the transform of your signal x of t is equal to 2 when t equal to 0, 1 when t greater than or equal to 0. So, generally without having this knowledge, you can uh, calculate by using normal Fourier transform equation by substituting the limits from 0 to infinity and by making uh, at 0 that is equal to 2 at remaining points by making it is equal to 1, you can, uh, you can calculate. But finally, you are not going to get in terms of del function and uh, all this, the, but options will be in del function and 1 by j omega like this. Then what we will do? We can apply that linearity property here and we can solve question like this. So, like this way we can get answers by using linearity property.